On a quiet Paris night in 1971, the world lost one of rock's most iconic figures, Jim Morrison. Officially, his death was ruled as heart failure, but now, decades later, a new theory has emerged raising questions about what really happened that fateful night. Today, we unraveled the mystery surrounding the final moments of Jim Morrison's life. Was his death really as simple as heart failure or has the truth been hidden all along? To understand the mystery of Morrison's death, we first need to explore the turbulent life that led up to it. Born in December 8, 1943 in Melbourne, Florida, Jim Morrison's early life was anything but ordinary. Raised in a strict military family, Morrison's rebellious spirit was evident from a young age. His sharp intellect and fascination with mysticism and philosophy shaped the person he would become, a poet, an artist, and eventually the frontman of the doors. In 1965, after meeting Ray Manzarek in Venice Beach, Morrison channeled his poetic genius into music. Together, they formed The Doors, a band that would go on to revolutionize rock with hits like Light My Fire and Hello, I Love You, but along with fame came personal struggles for Morrison. His unpredictable behavior, fueled by heavy drinking and drug use, strained his relationships and darkened his once commanding stage presence. In early 1971, Morrison moved to Paris with his girlfriend Pamela Cruson, seeking a break from fame and a chance to focus on his poetry. But just months later, on July 3, 1971, Jim Morrison was found dead in his apartment. The official cause heart failure. However, no autopsy was conducted and that decision sparked decades of conspiracy theories. In 2007, nightclub manager Sam Burnett came forward with a shocking new claim. According to Burnett, Morrison didn't die in his apartment. He allegedly died from a heroin overdose in the bathroom of the rock and roll circus nightclub. Burnett claims that Morrison, who was known to be afraid of needless, had snorted heroin that night, leading to a fatal overdose. Burnett's story suggests that instead of calling an ambulance, Morrison's body was secretly transported to an apartment in a cover-up. The motive? To avoid a scandal that could tarnish Morrison's legacy. Witnesses including singer Marianne Faithful and photographer Patrick Shewell later supported his, this version of events. But this theory isn't without its challenges. Morrison's fears of needles and the lack of physical evidence cast doubts. Some argues that the idea of transporting a rogue icon's body through Paris undetected seems far-fetched. So, is this the real story or just another layer of mystery surrounding Morrison's death? What remains undisputed is Jim Morrison's lasting influence on music and culture. His poetic lyrics, deep voice and unforgettable stage presence continue to inspire generations of artists. From laggy pop to Bono, Morrison's impact is still felt today. As fans visit his grave in Paris, they remember Jim Morrison not just how he died, but for the legacy he left behind. A symbol of rebellion, creativity, and the untamped spirit of rock. Jim Morrison's death may forever remain a mystery, but his influence on music and culture is eternal. What do you think happened that night in Paris? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mysterious and music legend. Thank you so much for watching.